you're probably wondering how somebody this cool could be so smart. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. Science is cool. Let's get started. Welcome everybody to Driveway Science. This low budget film here is for Family Science Night. So we hope you're ready to enjoy a nice little experiment that we have prepared for you. Ms. Farrow? Hello. Mr. Brancato? Oh, whoa. It's Dr. Venkman. My mistake. Dr. Venkman. Thank you. Get it right. All right, well, before we start, there's a couple components we want to go over. Do you have your trusty clipboard, Ms. Farrow? Let's get so, started. Let's start with safety. Safety, what do you mean by that? You want to be safe. Safe. Gloves? Check. Social distance? Check. Goggles? These are my son's. Lego. Check. Now, the reason why I threw them is because we're only dealing with Diet Coke and Mentos. Now, we know that they have a reaction with one another, uh, but we're really not going to get too far into that because you might see that on another experiment from another science teacher, but not us. What are we doing today, Ms. Farrow? We are concentrating on one particular question. And that question being, does the temperature of the Diet Coke affect the reaction size with the Mentos? Ms. Farrow, are there some variables we need to go over? So we need our independent variable and we need our dependent variable. Those terms should sound familiar. So our IV or independent variable is going to be the different temperatures of the Diet Coke. So we have cold, room temperature, and hot. As the wind came by. The dependent variable is going to be the reaction size. So that means when we drop those Mentos into the Diet Coke, something's going to happen. Anything else on your clipboard, Ms. Farrow? Just like every other experiment we've done, let's talk a little bit about constants. What do you mean? Things that remain, remain the, the same. same. So like I constantly annoy you in class. Something like that. Got it. Okay, so some constants being the candy we're using. It's going to be Mentos and only Mentos. These are the mint kind. We're not going to use the fruit Mentos and we're not going to use the cinnamon Mentos or the sour apple. They all have to be mint. We're also going to be using Steve Spangler's device that drops the Mentos in. And if you count, there are exactly seven in that we have to drop. Container. Right. And we're also using. Thank you. Diet Coke. And only Diet Coke. So we will have a cold Diet Coke, a room temperature Diet Coke, and a hot Diet Coke. Now this one has been sitting outside in the boiling sun for a couple hours now. Would not want to drink that. The other one, because I want this experiment to be authentic, is still in the house. Room temperature. I must call my wife. I can't see my phone. She'll take it. Hello, wife. Ah, can we have the room temperature coat, please? Oh, Thank you, wife. You're welcome. Room temperature. Room temperature coat. And finally. The coat has been in the fridge and sitting on ice. Now, Miss Farrow, we have to open these very carefully. And then we're going to oh. take our Steve Spangler Mentos and we're going to screw them on the top. Yes. Before we do that, is there anything else you want to add? There is one more thing that we're going to add to this. What's that? Which is, what do we need? You need me to be funnier. You're always funny. I know. You need me to be cooler? No. We need our... Handy dandy. Hypothesis. Huh. See, you almost forgot. Okay, so, if then because, like we've always done in class. So, if we drop Mentos into different temperature Diet Cokes, then reaction will be greatest with hot Diet Coke because molecules move faster with the addition of heat. So you think the hot Diet Coke will have a greater reaction? Well, I'm gonna go with room temperature. Based on my prior scientific knowledge, based on the fact that I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> but let's get started and actually test it. This is it, Miss Farrow. Okay, do or die. Let's see what we do. Open it. Oh, 
open them very slowly. Okay, so we're starting with fresh bottles. That is also a constant. This is the first time they're being opened. We're gonna so go ahead. They have the same amount in each. Okay, now let's go with this one. It went on the roof, by the way. My wife's gonna kill me. Conclusion we can see clearly as the bubbles start to settle. So, in conclusion, the only way that we can see or measure this uh, obviously could not be the height of the geyser because we would have to be on the roof. So, what you do is then you take a ruler, a metric ruler. So, I have my millimeters here, and you would go to the bottle on each and you would measure and see. Now, if I were to take a look here, it seems that Miss Farrow's hypothesis was correct and the hot temperature Diet Coke had the biggest reaction. You'll see there's less in this. She's right, 90% of the time. <laughs> so now, we hope you enjoyed this experiment and this is something that you could do at home. Obviously, please make sure you are outside because my wife is gonna make me go on the roof and hose it down and run fast so you don't wear it. <laughs> like Mr. Broncado, I mean Dr. Beckman. Dr. Benkin. Ben ben Thank you for joining us for Family Science Night. Wishing you happiness and safety. We miss you all. Take care.